YouTube. <coughs> Jake of me seven here. Um, I recently posted a trick called the Lonely Card. Well, I'm about to show you the tutorial for the Lonely Card. So okay, let's do this. Shuffle deck. That's an impromptu trick. Oh, that was a failed shuffle. So yeah, you shuffle the deck. There's no setup whatsoever. Anyone can shuffle the deck. You can borrow a deck whatsoever. It can have all the cards missing. It can have ten cards missing. It could be. It doesn't have to be a full deck. It can. Have, it can have jokers in it and whatever. It's completely impromptuous. So okay. Spectators going to choose card. Let's say they choose this card, the King of Clubs. We're going to put the King of Clubs on the top of the deck. Remember to put it on the top of the deck. We're going to false cut it, or riffle shuffle it, keeping it at the top. Um, so that's at the top. Um, false cut it. If you want to see my version of the false cut, you can just click the link below, jakevelvin87, and look for the video called My False Cut. Now that was it, I'll show you again. There's also a different way of doing it now where I can throw the pack as well. Like that. And yeah, cards at the top. <coughs> the next stage is to swing cut. A swing cut is where you take a portion of the cards and drop them below. Catch it and so the card's still there. And what you're going to do is you're just going to drop a card on top of it in secret. Slap the cards like that. And stick them back to the top. So this is what it looks like now. You've got a card above the king of clubs. Now you're going to double lift the cards after false cutting it again or whatever to make it look like you shuffled the cards again. You double lift. So it's, you could double lift the king of clubs. You go after shuffling the deck, the king of clubs has jumped to the top again. So what we're going to do, we're going to lose the king of clubs fair and square. So you take the card above, which they think is the King of Clubs, and what you do, you just pop it in the top left corner, like that, and you swivel it to your left, and it comes out of that corner, you swivel it again, and what you'll see is it it, it drifts through and comes in a little bit out in jogged. You do it again, so it comes back to the left corner, and while doing that process, let me get it back to the top, it looks like when it goes through here, it looks like you can make a switch, so you can wave your hand over and whatever. You can go, okay. While doing that, the card magically switched to a joker. And you riffle the deck, like this. Meaning that your card is magically transported to the top of the deck. So again, that's that bit. Now for the next bit. You're going to slop it into the deck. You go, oh, I'm actually going to lose it this time. Look, it's going in there. What you do, you push and then lift up like that, so you catch a break below. And before you catch a break, you just drop the king down and then catch a break. So I'll show you that again. You take the king and you put it in the deck. You push and lift at the same time. You drop it down, so it's dropping down, and then you catch a break. You then cut the deck, pull the break out basically, like that. You get two random cards and put one face up on the top of the deck. And what you're going to do is a double lift, which means you're lifting up that card and the King of Clubs, which is their card. And you're just going to put the Queen below it again. So you put the Queen on top of the deck now. So you go, okay, we've got the Queen and we're going to put the Four on top of it. So like that. But in actual fact, you've got this kind of setup. You're then going to move the cards away from them so they can't see what's happening and you're just going to pull up the queen and the four like that and it's going to look like this from their view and you just turn the deck over push it down and out pops their card which usually works better I'll show you that when it works better so there you go this, will work. this should work better this time like that and their card will pop up and that's and that's that bit and now it's the final bit you put the card back on the top make it look like you're losing it into the deck you're doing false cuts again 
you do a double lift so that I think that's the four there but it's actually the four on your card you say you're going to transform the four by putting the queen of hearts above it now this is a bit technical <coughs> you grab the cards like this with your thumb and your middle finger you can do it a little bit nearer to the corner and all you do is just apply more pressure here and it should work better than that I, I forgot to put, push my finger back what you do is it's basically just going to pop the king of clubs out like that you, you quickly shuffle the four into the deck <coughs> and say okay well there you go the queen is the only card left you can clearly see that the four has transformed that is the awkward trick it's quite sorry for you didn't follow that but if you watch it again you should be able to get it that was the advanced trick called the lonely car and that was a tutorial for it See you next time. Bye.